Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I'm finally filming this in the quarantine phase and I'm super bored out of my mind. So I have decided to play with a bunch of expensive makeup that I have over here. The most expensive makeup because I've been feeling super poor sitting in my pajamas all day. So I decided to dive into the most expensive glam I got and do like a full smoky eye look with like expensive jewelry not expensive jewelry but like jewelry and like a hot dress and everything and basically go nowhere just sit at home so if you guys are interested to see this glam look and how i do it and everything and what's the most expensive makeup i have then please keep on watching but before that if you've not already subscribed to my channel please make sure that you do please hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it so that you can join this family and then you can keep on watching Okay, so first I want to start with eyeshadow because I want to do something very black, brown, smoky, sultry look. So for that, I'm going to prime my eyelids first. I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade ESB03. Just going to take a flat brush like this and take a little bit of this primer on my brush and place it all over my eyelids, even carving out my eyebrows. So this particular primer is uh, 725 bucks. It's the only primer I have, so it's not really the most expensive primer, but it is pretty pricey. 725 for a primer is expensive. I just use my concealer most of the time. Uh, for eyeshadow palette, I'm using the most expensive eyeshadow palette that I have, and that is the Dose of Colors Desi X KD eyeshadow palette. Uh, the Friendcation palette. Uh, this is around $55, which is super pricey. $55 is around 4,000 rupees, which is super duper pricey. So it's very expensive. It's one of the most expensive palettes I have. And one of the shades in this is Shattered, the blue one. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you all like this. It's a gorgeous palette. I love this palette so much. I've always raved about it. So it's totally worth the money. It was actually a gift to me by my sister. I'm gonna come a little closer so that I can do my eye look. So I'm starting with this light brown eyeshadow and I'm just gonna buff it all over my lid to set that NYX eyeshadow base in place. And next I'm taking the darker brown eyeshadow which is going to be my crease shade and blend it in my crease with this pointed pack brush. Taking this extremely dark brown color and placing this close to the eyelid and just concentrating it on the outer corner and in circular motions buffing it in my outer corner. So I'm taking the eyeshadow base once again and I'm going to do like a semi cut crease moment. I'm just going to clear out my lid space from all the brown eyeshadow so the black really shows through. Now I'm taking a flat brush, another one and I'm taking the black smoky sparkly shade in the palette and I'm going to place it all over the area that I put the concealer. These shadows do have a lot of fallout and that's why I decided to do my eyes first. Didn't want to wreck my base after I'm done with my eyes. Going in with the dark brown again and intensifying the outer corners. Now using a very clean buffing brush, I'm just going to buff out my crease so that there's no harsh line because I didn't want it to be very cut creasy. I want to add a little more dimension to this so I'm going to take just a kiss which is a sheer shimmer shade in the palette and place it simply on the top of the lid. Oh I love how this looks. Once again with a clean buffing brush, buffing everything in place. 
Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with my eyes so far. I'm gonna clean out all the excess mess with a cotton pad and micellar water. So let's start with the face makeup. Starting with the primer, of course. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Four Minimizing Primer, which is the most expensive primer I own. This is a whopping three thousand one hundred rupees. It's super pricey and it's completely over. I don't have enough money to buy a new one, so I'm gonna make use of whatever is left out of this. I might have to cut the tube. Oh, there is there is something. Oh my God! Yes. There's so much glitter on my fingers. that i think it's going to transfer all over my face literally wasting this expensive makeup i'm going to sit at home but i don't care for foundation i'm using the huda beauty four filter foundation this is the most expensive foundation i have because this is 3310 rupees and i bought this in indian rupees so it is more expensive than my fenty beauty one as well i use the shade brown sugar which is a tad bit lighter for me and honestly i do not like this foundation at all i don't use it it breaks me out it's very difficult to blend and i don't like the fragrance that this foundation has so i personally don't use it at all but for today's video i'm going to put my skin at risk and use this i'm using the new plum and co sponge that they sent me in mail it is super soft and after i wet it it enlarged to like double its size and it's super bouncy i love their sponges so much i actually really like the finish of the huda foundation it's a comfortable mat for me but this fragrance puts me off so much it's an uncomfortable scent and the fact that i know that i break out because of this fragrance it just i can't deal with it you have to blend it super fast because otherwise it sets in place Okay, so for concealer, I don't really own any high-end makeup companies. Concealer, I've never tried one actually. I always wanted the Tarte Shape Tape, but I never got my hands on it. So the most expensive concealer I have is the Pack Spotlight Liquid Concealer, and this is like seven sixty-five bucks. And I think the shade number is not on this. I think I'm thirteen or fourteen. I have a separate review on that. I'm going to leave my shades in the description section along with all the links. so you can go refer over there but uh, yeah i think i'm 13 or 14 one of those this concealer goes a really long way and i'm going to look super light today because this concealer is also light for me and uh, so is the foundation Okay, so my under eyes look super bright. But the thing with a really good smoky eye is that the brighter your under eyes, the more your smoky eyes will stand out. So yeah, uh, I really like bright and really light under eyes with a good smoky eye. I'm gonna set all this in place. And for powder, you can take a wild guess. I only use this powder. It's my Rider Dye, and it's the most expensive one I own. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is a classic. Everybody has it. Everybody loves it. You cannot go wrong with the Laura Mercier powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my sponge and then place it below my under eyes. The Huda foundation is super matte, so I don't need to set my entire face. Just the areas that crease. Okay, I'm gonna quickly dust everything away. I really like how the eyes are looking now after the base makeup is almost done. So for bronzer, the most expensive bronzer I actually have is the Ofra Cosmetics bronzer. Ofra retails their bronzers at two thousand eight hundred on Nykaa. Uh, this one particularly was sent to me free because I placed a huge order on their website on Nykaa and we had some offer running. But the retail price for this is two thousand eight hundred, and honestly, I really find it worth it. I really love this bronzer. It adds such a nice summery. 
uh, Brazilian vacation glow to your face. I love it. I want my skin to look super bronze because I really like the combination of a bronzed skin, bright under eyes and smoky eye. Oh, I love it. This is like my comfort makeup, full face of glam. blush I don't have any individual blush which is super expensive but I have this color bar feel the rain blush and highlighter duo which looks something like this and I love the blush in this palette this is like my most used blush because I love the color and the pigment and the longevity of this blush but the duo in itself is about 1800 rupees this was limited collection on their uh, feel the rain monsoon collection I'm going to take very little blush because I don't want too much color on my cheeks and this blush is super pigmented so it doesn't go very well like I wouldn't choose this blush as a blush for this particular eye look but uh, this is the one I have to go with because this is sort of like a challenge it's the most expensive one I have so it doesn't matter if the color doesn't suit For highlight, of course, my most expensive highlighter is the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Rodeo Dry. This is a whopping 2800. I got the mini size, which is 1500. Still expensive. I'm not gonna do this because if I open this, it's gonna shatter to a million pieces because it's broken and breaks my heart. But uh, I'm gonna use it even then because I paid 1500 for it. Alright, for setting spray, I don't own any Lux makeup company setting spray, but the one I have is by Makeup Revolution, and this is the Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. And this is, I think, around um, 1050 rupees, so that's pretty expensive for a drugstore setting spray and just a setting spray in general. My favorite one is the NYX Dewy Finishing Setting Spray, but I like this one a lot too. Makes my makeup last super long and adds a really nice glow to your skin. Okay, since we are done with the face makeup, let's complete the eyes and then we can move on to the lips. I'm going to take the same light and dark brown shade and smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, for Kajal, I'm using the K by Katrina's Kajal in the shade Spade. It's just 250 rupees, but I honestly don't invest in expensive Kajals or eyeliners and all of that, and I don't own any. So, this is what we have to make do with, and I really love this Kajal. It's very, very pigmented. So, for eyeliner, the most expensive eyeliner I have is this L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner. This is for 800 bucks, and I actually got it for a video. For my eyebrows, I'm actually using the Gigi Hadid Eyebrow Pencil by Maybelline. Uh, this was a collab with Gigi Hadid. It is around 450-500 but I think now this is not sold anymore. So I'm going to quickly get down with my brows and we'll breeze through this part. Personally, I don't even like this pencil that much so it's fine if it's not available you're not missing out on that. Alright, so for mascara, the most expensive one I own is the L'Oreal Volume Mini Slash Paradise uh, Mascara, which is 800 bucks. It's not that expensive, it's decent for a mascara, but uh, and it goes on discount very often. But yeah, this is the most expensive one I have. Somebody's legit playing. Hum honge kamyab on the flute. Hey, what the heck, bro? I'm recording a video. Can you hear it? People trying to find out their hobbies while sitting at home. It's a good thing, actually. 
Okay, I'm gonna quickly put on some lashes, earrings, and be right back. Alrighty, guys, so I added these beautiful hoops I have from HM and I added this cute uh, moon and star bobby pin that I have from Westside. I picked it up for 130 bucks. It's such a steal. I love them. I love these cute bobby pins that are coming back in style. So 90s. I'm gonna quickly add my lip. Actually, I'm cheating a little bit over here. The most expensive lipstick I own is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. But those are in all the dark colors. I have like Baos, which is a red, and Disorderly, which is like a burgundy, like a super vampy shade, and with a smoky eye, it will not look that great. So I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using the next most expensive liquid lipstick that I have, and that is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. My absolute favorite nude color. This is so gorgeous, and this is around $20. So that comes up to be like $1,500, $1,700. It's of course not cheap, it is a Sephora brand and it's very expensive uh, but it is like a little cheaper than the Smashbox lipstick. So I'm going to let the liquid lipstick settle and the lashes I added by the way are by Chromia Beauty. They are the Style Divine. And I'm taking a little bit of the Oprah highlighter and highlighting my collarbone because I totally forgot. And also like my brow bone and inner corner, I've not highlighted that. That's what I like while wearing lashes, I was thinking what's missing, I can't place my finger on it. The only disadvantage of the Dose palette is that it doesn't have a good uh, brow bone or inner corner highlight shade. So I usually use my highlighter whenever I use that palette. Alright, so that's complete. This is the finished makeup look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this quarantine, super glam, super expensive makeup session with me. I hope you guys are staying in, staying safe and not going out. Please do not do that. Let's make this a collective effort to stay at home and like fight this virus together. Basically, it is very, very tough to stay at home. I can understand. I'm a super hyperactive soul and I can't do it for the life of me. But just try to find new techniques to keep yourself busy like I did today by playing with all of my expensive makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you liked the finished look. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing to keep yourself busy in this period. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, the period is over but I don't think it's gonna be that soon. Uh, uh, so yeah, let's pray and let's be in this together. I will see you guys in my next video super soon. Until then, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it and follow me on Instagram. I've been doing a lot of self-quarantine, self-care things on Instagram, like basically wasting my time over there. So you can go follow me there for some fun uh, get ready with me's and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, love you all.